It is barely six months after the Public Finance Management Act was passed to plug loopholes in the administration of the Treasury. The law also catered for the management of anticipated oil revenues. The executive wants the amendments to cater for unnamed urgent business. Sections to be amended are Section 25 to provide for an alternative financing for supplementary budgets through budget adjustments where a contingency fund is underfunded by parliamentary appropriation. Section 82 to allow Bank of Uganda provide temporary advances without prior parliamentary approval to mitigate situations where there are short-term revenue collections. Section 17, for timelines when the unutilized funds should be returned to the consolidated fund to allow for orderly closure of the financial year by providing for some extension for settlement of outstanding payments. Other proposed amendments include reallocation of funds from one vote to another and delegating authority to the Secretary to Treasury that would otherwise bog down the Minister. Thank you so much. Legislators on the Finance Committee, however, rejected amendments to Section 25, arguing all supplementaries must pass through Parliament. The first MPs also demands that Bank of Uganda releases funds prior to parliamentary approval. But are you sure you're not confusing accountability with operations? For government of Uganda. The Finance Committee also interacted with civil society organizations under the Civil Society Budgetary Advocacy Group who called upon Parliament to reject the amendments. The 10 percent violent across the board is our biggest problem. The civil society is weary the rushed amendments are aimed at allowing government spend more money on elections without much questioning. This is a long-term measure to address a short-term challenge. The current section subject supplemental allocates to be laid for parliament for approval and yet the bill seeks allow government to spend money and seek the approval later. This is a bad practice and it perpetuates abuse, especially during elections where the appetite in spending is so high and it would me such a person. The committee is to write a report which will be debated and passed into law when Parliament reconvenes from recess on Wednesday. Story compiled by Bahati Remy for NBS Sunset.